Alright guys, this is just a quick how-to in case you have issues with your fish attacking each other and you don't want to put them in separate tanks. Alright, my situation here is that I have this tank. Let me back up. Okay, it's a 125 gallon tank. And then I had this one over here too, a 35 gallon tank. Now I had five cichlids in here and I had two cichlids here. But as you see, this one is in the kitchen and I didn't want it to be in the kitchen anymore. So I actually wanted to take these fish out and I've already taken the filter off, the heater, the pumps, everything else I've had on here. Um, all of that out now since I'm done. I'm fixing to actually put it in the garage. But if you see here, I put all the, I put these two fish in this tank. Well, cichlids can be very territorial. As you see, I've got a lot of caves in here. Okay, I've got a lot of caves, I've got a lot of grassy areas for them to hide in, but that just wasn't enough, okay? There's a lot of space, seven fish and 125 gallons should be perfectly fine, um, but they still weren't happy. The larger cichlid here, he is a blue ACI, he would just continually attack the other blue ACI in this tank, you can see him swimming around over there, right behind the peacock cichlid right there. And basically what was going on is he would go find him wherever he hid in these rocks because it was a dominance issue. I put another large fish, okay, into a tank with already had the alpha male. And because of that he started attacking him really bad. And you can't see right now, because I put a lot of medication in here, but this fish had scar, had wounds all over him. And he actually still has a cloudy eye where his eye got nipped. Um, that's the only thing that hasn't healed yet but he had a lot of marks all over his body so basically the issue here I needed to separate them but you know specifically I was doing this so that I could decommission this tank altogether and just have one tank um, and so I needed to figure out a solution but see I was kind of worried that he was going to be killed only after the first couple hours so I didn't have time to order a to order a tank divider on Amazon or anything like that um, and the local store did not have one that would fit a 125 gallon tank so what I did here is I went and bought it's called egg crate or eggshell I think it's egg crate um, at Home Depot um, and if you look at it it doesn't look that bad in the tank actually see it just divides it perfectly now the uh, holes are plenty big enough so that the tank can still filter both sides of it easily but it's not too big so fish can't actually get through and it completely separates it so now I've got you know a 125 gallon tank split up into two so they're still plenty large and what all I did here is I bought this crate you can see how big it actually comes okay at the store it was actually about fourteen dollars which is more than I wanted to spend but like I said the local store didn't have a divider that was big enough um, to fit this tank so I wanted to figure something out because I knew they wouldn't make it another night they would die I just didn't want to put them back into the other tank it took a lot to get them out move all the rocks and everything so all I did was I measured it out okay and I just took my pair of dikes here and very simply as you see here I just cut this section out right here with these dikes and try to put it in maneuver things around cut a little more out until it fit in there nicely and you can see here this cuts very easily just like that and you got one down okay so you got to go all the way across until you make the shape that you, until you make uh, the size that you measured out um, obviously it can be a little bit tedious but it worked out very well I think the end result is great. It's been like this for maybe about three or four days now. Um, I've had no other issues with, with fish attacking each other. Um, in this tank, even though I have this blue ACI in here with these other fish um, that he was not you know, previously in a tank with, they're not fighting because he immediately became the alpha male. Just a few you know, snipping at the other fins and the other ones immediately got put in their place and just stopped doing any, you know, stop trying to do any harm to each other because uh, he is a decent amount larger than the other fish so he immediately took dominance away from the peacock and they're happy, everybody's happy, nobody's hurting anybody, there's nobody his size trying to hurt him and then over here one of the electric yellows here I'm not sure if you can see it right there, you can see the reflection of it 
he was the other one in the other tank right there he is and he's quite small that's the smallest fish i have right now and he went into with the dominant blue aci in here and there's also an orange a cherry zebra in here somewhere he's actually hiding if you notice the african cichlids they hide under things they try to burrow and hide it's kind of cute um so he was okay as well so so far this is working my only concern is trying to clean it when i pull it out to clean it um we'll see how dirty it ends up getting um i did a full tank clean whenever i pushed this put this in here and cleaned all my rocks and everything like that um, these rocks are rocks I just got from outside. I just went and found them and cleaned them off real good. That's what I've done for years. It worked perfectly. Um, and these plants I've got, these large ones, I actually bought from Michael's for like $2 a piece. They're huge. They provide a lot of areas for them to hide. It's actually really nice. Alright guys, I hope this helps you if you're in a situation to where your fish are fighting and you want to be able to break them up. I mean, if, you're in a, if you have a small tank where it's not really very reasonable, then I guess it wouldn't work. But since I have a large enough tank, um, by breaking this up, I still have plenty of room in the two sides. And they're still, you know, not full grown, so they're, they have plenty of room. They'll be happy. Alright, this is Seth signing off. Hope I helped you guys.